96 years to look back and reflect on our monarch who commanded our utmost respect. She was a woman of substance, honest and good. She was trusted, devoted, and did all that she should. She became our queen at just 25 years old, a daunting task for which she had to be bold. She rose to the challenge, she conquered her fears. She was a great queen for over 70 years. She was constant throughout most of our days, something dependable with us always. She had words in the tragedy, comfort to bring, like a ray of sunlight signaling spring. She had time for the nobody, every one had a wave, a smile, a greeting, she knew how to behave. But she cared for others, and all would find. She really was interested, her words were so kind. She saw so many people rise and then fall, yet she remained the rock, outlasting them all. She saw those who were judged, and those who were derided. A path of consistency was the one she decided. So why was she loved? What made her great? Why was she such a great head of state? God was her helper. She trusted deeply in him. She believed Jesus died for us because of our sin. As a believer in God, she was sustained all her life. In the pleasant and good times, the trouble and strife. Although she has left us, she truly lives on, in a heavenly home with no pain, sorrow or wrong. The Lord that she loved was Jesus by name, the Lord Jesus he loved and from heaven he came, to die in our place on a cross long ago, so that forgiveness and love we could eternally know. She knew this forgiveness as she trusted in him. She believed it deep down, no fleeting whim. Now she's in heaven, she's felt his embrace. She has lovingly gazed upon his dear face. So what about you? In what do you trust? Have you given it thought? Will you adjust? Will you listen to God, read from his word? Trust in his son, just as you've heard. Queen Elizabeth's life is an example to all. Her choices were right, she answered God's call. Follow her example, look to him who is good. Trust now in him, for you know that you should. What would be written about me and you? Not noted by many, remembered by few. What will be written when all said and done? We believed and we trusted in God's only Son?